Um, okay, so let's talk about this, because you're going to make a transition, really, from Baldwin to Metcalf. What do you think is the hardest part about that? How much time will that take? Well, I, I think the biggest issue is that, like, they're not even similar receivers, you know? And so, um, area quickness, the transition in and out of breaks, that's really where you get your separation. It's mm -hmm. Those points that you're making, you could be a, a GM or a head coach, because that was oh, a you. lot of the conversations that were being had when he was going through the draft process. I mean, there, were, there was a lot more hype about him, if you guys recall, leading into that day or leading into draft night about his size. And, of course, we saw those images over and over. But I think the biggest story in terms of receivers coming out of these mini camps has been DK Metcalf. I, I'm really surprised by some of the quotes I've been reading from the Seahawks players about what they're seeing because I don't think that they're going to be saying the things that they're saying about him if he isn't doing the things that we're talking about, he perhaps doesn't have in his game. I, I just don't think they'd say anything. I'd see, I think they're showing that they're impressed with his height and his size and, and all the stuff that we know. But I, I just thought it was very interesting that they would even bring up his ability and his skill set here when uh, if it wasn't there, I don't think they would go there. I'll have to wait for week <laughs> seven for uh, Patrick Peterson. He's got a little six-game suspension hanging around on his name, too. Headed your way, we're going to take Trubisky Cousins.